Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome to part 2 of my iMats haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video. If you haven't seen that yet, I will put a link to it right here, right on the pot plant so you guys can check that out. But part 2, I have some kind of exciting products, something that I um, was really looking forward to, a brand that I was really looking forward to seeing at iMats. And that was Makeup Forever. And I've heard so much about Makeup Forever. I think sort of every beauty guru on YouTube has talked about some sort of Makeup Forever products before. I never tried them and you can buy Makeup Forever in Australia for those of you who are wondering. Um, the company that actually uh, sells it in Australia is actually a um, beauty school in Adelaide. And I've seen their um, website before but I never tried anything because I didn't hadn't seen it before so I didn't really know what I really wanted but they were actually there and it's the Media Makeup Store and I'll put a link to that in the bottom bar below for those of you in Australia who are interested in trying some of the Makeup Forever products but they were there and let me tell you, the wait at the Makeup Forever store was so, so long they really needed to have more girls there because there were so many people interested in trying products from there and I picked up a few and there was, one, there was one thing that I didn't pick up that I really wanted to and I kind of wish I had and that was the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. They did have that there. Um, it was $120 which was kind of why I didn't pick it up because I'd already bought so much and there were so many other things that I wanted to buy that I couldn't, at the time, I couldn't justify splurging on it. Now that I'm sitting at home, I kind of think that I would have liked to but I can always get it online, I guess, um, if I want to try it. If you've tried the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, um, let me know in the comments below because I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But that was one thing I didn't get, but I did buy a whole heap of other things from there, or, or a few things. So um, let's just jump into those. So the first thing that I picked up was probably one of the most well-known products, and is the Makeup Forever Professional High Definition Foundation. And this is probably the only foundation sort of product that I picked up at iMats. And you guys know me, I'm really fussy with my foundations. I'm so worried they're going to break me out. And I picked up this and I'm in the colour um, 117. And I don't plan on using this every day, but I thought I couldn't justify not buying it to at least try and maybe wear for special occasions because so many people really, really love this. So it just comes with a little pump. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. I wonder if I've got the prices here just so you guys know. Like I said, you can buy that online. I think they had a 30% discount. A lot of places had 30 or 20% discount. So, um, let me see if I can find. Oh, I don't have the right receipt. I'm not sure how much it was. I think it was about 40, $42 maybe. So that's actually not bad for a um, high-end foundation, especially if you compare them to the MAC foundations. It was relatively, well, not inexpensive, but it wasn't too bad. So I got that and I'm really looking forward to trying what that's like. The other thing that I picked up, another sort of well-known product, is their high definition powder. And I was originally just going to get the powder because that's just one thing that I really wanted to try, but it's just the white powder, the translucent powder. And yes, I'm really looking forward to trying that also. Then I actually went back, that was all I'd gotten, and then I went back and I really wanted to try, the other thing that I'd always wanted to try was their um, their liner pencils, their Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes pencils, and a lot of them did sell out, but I picked up a couple and I'm really glad that I did because I had them on my hand, swatched them, and they wouldn't come off, even though I got wet in the rain and I washed my hands, they still lasted through all that, so I don't know the colours, I think, I'm trying, they don't really have names, I can just see numbers. So the first one that I got was number 1L, which I don't think is the black, so I'm pretty sure the black sold out, but I, oh, it, this is like a really dark charcoal grey, if it's not black, and I thought that I could use this as a black anyway. It looks black enough for me, and I don't know, I just really, really like them. They're really creamy, and I think these were selling for $19 each, so that was pretty... Um, Pretty good, I think. The next one is a shimmery white pearl color, and it's the color number 14L. It's just like a white one. Then I got a really dark purple. This is number 6L. Hopefully, you guys can see that the colors slightly different. 
And then I got this sort of golden champagne colour, which I thought would make a really nice inner corner highlight, which is right there, if you guys can see it. And this is the colour number 23L. So I picked up four of those. They did have so many different colours. There were so many other ones um, that I would have liked to try, but I thought this was like a good range of different ones to try. Um, another thing that I got was two of their aqua cream um, waterproof cream color I guess you could call them bases or shadows depending on what you want to use it for I got number 16 which is this really nice I guess pinky mauvey color and I will um, try and get a little bit closer and swatch it for you but this is another thing you just put this on and I tried to like wash it off afterwards and it didn't budge and I thought this was like a really nice color that you could wear on its own or you could wear it as a base. So I'm really happy with those. I didn't originally think about trying them, but I'm really glad that I did now because so far, so good. And the other colour that I got was kind of similar, but I thought I wanted colours that could be bases as well as shadows on their own. And this is the colour number 13. And this one's more of a... Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Rubenesque, kind of a bit of... Um, Rubenesque and Bear Study Paint Pot mixed together from MAC but it's just a really nice really light kind of pinky beige golden shimmery colour there. So they were the two that I picked up and then the last couple of products I picked up from Makeup Forever I picked up their um, Mist and Fix, their Makeup Fixer Mist and I don't know much about this. I don't know if it's more of a fixing spray or if it's more of something a bit like um, Max um, Fix Plus that's more of a refresher spray. The one thing that there was a few products or a few brands there that I really wish had been there that weren't. And one of them was Model in a Bottle or Urban Decay. I really would like to try a makeup setting spray. And I just haven't had the opportunity to. And I know I could buy them online, but I just haven't done that yet. So. I thought I would give this a go and see what this is like and if you've used this before let me know what you think of it because I'd love to hear um, somebody who's used it and what their opinion is of that. And then the last thing I picked up was a lip gloss and is one of their Lab Shine Diamond Collection lip glosses. And I thought this was just the most beautiful colour. It's this really nice pink and I don't think you guys are going to be able to, oh maybe you can. And it's just full of like micro glitter. It is just, it has kind of almost... It has some pink and some sort of light blue silver reflex in it, but it's just so pretty. And it has a, um, I really love these because they actually have a brush as opposed to a doe foot applicator. So I was really, really um, excited to try one of these and I almost wish that I could have bought more, but I picked up way too much and I wanted to try and get a variety of things. So I figured that this was a safe way to try as many brands as I could. Uh, the other thing that I picked up, I picked up some of the Ardell lashes. I only picked up three, but I picked up um, the Invisible Band Natural Demi Pixies in black. I also got the uh, Sexies in black. And then I also got the Fashion Glamour Lashes number 103 also in black. I really have wanted to get some of these sparkly, colourful lashes to maybe use in a Halloween tutorial but I wasn't sure what I wanted. I didn't want to get things just for the sake of it so I will hopefully, I can always get them somewhere else. I've actually seen Ardell lashes if you um, live in Australia. I noticed at least in my Blooms Chemist they sell Ardell now so I think they're slowly um, I guess becoming more prevalent or more available in Australia so definitely look out for those. The other thing that was really cool, I actually met Elisa or um, Purse Buzz here on YouTube and she was there and she was one of the speakers and then at one point oh, she was just kind of standing there and I was just talking to her and saying how much I really liked her videos and we had a photo taken and that and then she said I'm trying to do giveaways I've got all this free stuff and I don't even know how to um, sort of get people over and I didn't realize what she meant and then she just said oh have you got redness in your skin and I said yeah sometimes I struggle with it she's like oh you should try this um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets anti-redness primer and just use a little bit of this in certain spots underneath a really tiny bit and it'll help cover up the redness and I thought she was just suggesting it to me to use it and then she actually just gave it to me and I was kind of confused I'm like she's just giving this to me and in the end I, then I kind of realized I'm like oh 
she's just giving this to me. So that was really, really sweet of her and she was giving out some other things and it was really, really um, nice and she's so nice in real life. Um, I'll link her channel in the bottom bar below. I'm sure if you're watching my channel you probably have heard of her, but if you haven't, um, she was there and she was really nice. I'm pretty sure she's there tomorrow as well. I actually went to Ilamaska as well and they had some really good, they didn't have all their products there, but they did have some and most of them were around $10 each which I thought was a real bargain because Ilamaska is kind of expensive but it was a good chance to try a couple of their products. So I picked up a couple of their lip products. These are the Intense Lip Glosses from Ilamaska and these were $10 each. So I picked up two colours. One of these is in Frenzy which is this really nice kind of pinky, bright pink, hot pink colour. And the other one I picked up was in Petulant, which was this really bright pinky red colour. And they're the ones they look like this at the top, just so you guys can see that. And then I also picked up, they had their uh, liquid eyeliner there, which is in the colour Shatter, which is just a black colour, so it looks like this, and it's just one of the ones that has a, has like a really thin brush. And then they had their, um, what's it called? Ella Masca Volume Mascara, and this is in the colour Nocturnal, which is actually a brown. They didn't have black, and I don't know if it's because it was sold out or because they just didn't have any. But I wanted to just try what it was like. I don't mind using brown mascara sometimes just to see, I guess it was good to see the formula, and sometimes it's nice to wear brown mascara because it's just like a softer look for your eyes. So I picked up that as well. So those, those four things cost me $40, which I thought was pretty good value um, for, for the things that I got to try. So I got that and then, is there something else that I need to show? Oh, the last kind of things I wanted to show you was um, brushes. Now, Royal and Langnickel, and I'll show you the iMats bag, iMats haul, and they were the main sponsor of the show and they had a massive stand and there was crown brushes there and there was designer brushes and a couple other brush brands. And I looked at them and a lot of them had the same and I was going to buy um, a brush kind of like roll, like a pack, but I couldn't find one where it had a lot of brushes that I wanted. A lot of them had sort of brushes that I already had or I guess what I call useless ones, like ones that have like a really long stick and then like the little tap, like the little sponge that you get in um, pretty much every single drugstore makeup eyeshadow palette quad thing that you ever buy and I just I feel like that's a waste of brushes because I just don't use them or if I'm going to use like the little sponges then I just use the ones that I get free with the product so instead I decided to buy some of my own brushes and I went a little bit crazy and bought quite a few but I will try and show them to you really really quickly uh, so I have all of mine were pretty much in the silk range by Royal and Langnickel. So this is the MD foundation brush. They're really, really soft. I had to wait in line quite a while, but um, I'm kind of happy with my purchases. So this is the bronzer brush. It's like a flat top one. This is the foundation brush, which is, looks quite similar, but this is um, more synthetic fibers. I did notice with this one, this one seems, it didn't at the show, but I did pull this one out and it seems to have a lot of fallout, so I don't know like, of um, the uh, bristles, so I'm not sure about that, but then this one doesn't, so I'm going to try them all. Sometimes brushes, when they're new, they do shed a lot, so let's see how that one goes. And I got this white one here, which I just thought was kind of interesting, it'd be really good for like highlighter or um, blush on the top of your cheeks. I should have said, I don't know if you guys want to know prices, but this was 8 this was six. I'll go through them really quickly. This was also six. This is seven dollars. This one here is a little synthetic pointed liner brush, and this was three for lips. Uh, this is like a little kind of stubby smudger or um, crease brush, and this was four dollars. This one here is a little, a sort of larger flat shader brush, and this was seven. Here's a little small synthetic uh, lip brush, and this one was $3. This 
This is a big fan brush and this was $5. This is a really big synthetic powder brush and this was $13. This is really, really soft. Uh, this is a, a small fan brush and this was $3. This is like a little round, stubby, I guess, crease brush or a dome shadow brush, and this was $5. This is a pointed kind of smudger or pencil brush, but kind of a larger one, and this was $5. This is a, a large stippling brush, and this one was $9. This one here is a really kind of stubby uh, smudging brush, and this was $3. And then I picked up two little kabuki brushes. One of these, this is the round, small kabuki brush. And I can't remember how much this was so it doesn't have a price on it, but I just thought it was really cute. It's really, really soft, and it's just rounded at the top. And then the other one, I got a large, flat top, angled kabuki brush. So that goes up on an angle like that. And again, so, so soft. So they were all the brushes that I got, and I think it ended up coming to somewhere around 90, 90 to just under $100, which I thought for that, considering I can buy one MAC brush here in Australia, one of the big sort of fluffy MAC brushes, and that's $100, I thought this is really, really good value, which is why I bought so many, and I feel like it's really good for tutorials and to expand, I guess, the, the way I apply makeup and be able to try different things. So. You guys have seen them now. If you want to see tutorials on how to use them or how I use them or then reviews on them or anything like that, let me know. And I think you can buy these brushes or you can get them from somewhere maybe online. So if you can, I'll put a link to them in the bottom bar below because um, I don't know. I know that these are probably show prices, but they were still really, really good value. So that is it. That is everything that I picked up at iMats. I know I got a crazy amount, but I feel like I got a good range and hopefully you guys will see them in future videos coming very, very soon. Let me know what things that you liked. If you went to iMats and you bought something, what did you buy or things that you wanted to try or anything like that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, but I'm going to go. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.